Sea lampreys, which resemble 18-inch eels, are an invasive species that have taken over the Great Lakes. Aquatic vertebrates, native to the Atlantic Ocean, lamprey likely made their way to the lakes via shipping channels. The species attach onto fish using their mouth, sucking out the fish's body fluids. These parasites have disrupted the ecosystems, causing the extinction of three species of white fish and dramatically decreasing the populations of trout and chubs. Uh, when they built the Erie and Welland Canal back in the 1900s, the sea lamprey moved in through these shipping canals into Lake Ontario, where they then invaded Lake Erie through the Welland Canal. And then from there, you can kind of put it together that the lamprey invaded the entire Great Lakes system. However, in the Great Lakes, back in the 1900s when they first invaded, um, the only thing in the Great Lakes that was big was lake trout, and they are really only on average size about this big. And so if you have a sea lamprey coming in, attaching to a fish only slightly larger in length than the sea lamprey, it's, it's gonna slow the fish down, the fish won't be able to feed, and the sea lamprey, instead of being a parasite, switches gears and becomes a predator. And so the lake trout began to crash due to overharvest and this in invasion of the, the Great Lakes sea lamprey. Economic losses due to invasive fish in the Great Lakes is about one billion per year. The U.S. and Canadian governments spend about 10 million to 15 million per year on lamprey control. It's very important to, to control the sea lamprey because it's no longer really a parasite, it's more of a predator species now. And without proper sea lamprey control, a population even as large as the Great Lakes system population of fish cannot withstand pressure from both humans and of the invasive species that we're seeing, that we're starting to see come into the Great Lakes. So for commercial fishermen and uh, sport fisheries and guide services alike, which all account for a major amount of funding um, for the Midwest specifically in, in states surrounded by our Great Lakes area states, um, it's very important for sea lamprey management the Weiming Lee Lab at Michigan State University is determined to find a cost-effective control method for these parasites turned predators. One method they have found successful includes baiting and trapping female lampreys using a synthetic pheromone. Basically our lab has been developing methods to increase trap efficiency by baiting a trap with pheromones and most recently we have identified um, one compound we'll call 3KPZS that when applied to a trap will increase the efficiency of the trap um, significantly. Um, you'll see 60 to 70 percent higher catch in the baited trap. If I take 3K PZS in the size of a grain of salt and I divide it into four sections and take one of those sections and drop it into the stream, I can lure over 50 to 60 percent of uh, the lamprey I release into the stream to one meter squared location upstream of where I released them from 250 meters. So it's, it's very, very minute concentrations. It's very important for sea lamprey management to be developing as it is. And I'm excited for the future of sea lamprey management. Only a few hundred grams, less than a pound, would be used each year of the synthetic pheromone. Environmental and economic losses due to lamprey management could be greatly reduced. However, it is not likely the invasive species will ever be fully eradicated. They're like aliens. <laughs>